What's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. Hey, this is a comparison video or shootout video of a bunch of different impulse responses. All sort of very similar. Greenback style speakers in 412 cabinets, mic'd with multi-mic setups. Now you guys know we brought out the PT-15 recently. Here it is over here. I'm so proud of it. Uh, if you pull up channel 2 in bank number 1, slot number 1 for the impulse responses, uh, that's a greenback style speaker in a 412 cabinet mic'd with a 121 and a 57 style microphone. Uh, from Celestion. The amp comes loaded with Celestion impulse responses and I love the Celestion IRs. They did a great job. They went into a pro studio with a great engineer and they just did a really terrific job. One of the things I like about their IRs is that they kind of fit in a mix without a lot of EQ, generally speaking. Um, they just sort of work with other instruments really well. And to me, that's the mark of a good IR that was made by a good engineer that understands recording really well. But there's a bunch of other really cool IRs out there on the market as well. And I recognize that uh, you know, one person's bright might be another person's clear, might be another person's too edgy, or one person's full might be another person's too bloated sounding when it comes to tone. So we all hear things a little different. We all might want some different things. So I thought it'd be fun to do a video where I compare seven different IRs, but they're all sort of similar in the basis that they start from, which means greenback speakers and 412 cabinets mic'd up with multi-mic setups. There's going to be some in here that are a little brighter, some in here that are a little darker and warmer. Sometimes I find guitar players that play more by themselves, more practicing at home and that kind of thing, not necessarily playing with other instruments, they'll lean towards wanting a little bit darker uh, when it comes to impulse responses. Something a little warmer, a little bit less edge, a little bit fuller sounding. Makes sense because they're playing by themselves without bass guitar and that kind of thing and maybe they don't want to hear all those bright frequencies necessarily because it's a little more pleasing to sit there and play when the tone's a little darker by yourself. But of course once the band kicks in and there's bass guitar and bass drum and stuff and cymbals on the top end, having something with a little bit of cut that can slot in a mix is really cool too. So I've tried to include a wide range of different impulse responses here so you can check out some different ones. So to make these comparisons, what I did is I played my Sur Signature guitar here through my TC Ditto Looper and I played on the clean channel of my amp, also on the rhythm gain channel and also on the lead gain channel with a pedal actually added there for some extra high gain over the top stuff. I had the bright switch on the clean channel on, bright switch on the rhythm gain channel and the bright switch off on the lead channel. Tried to give you a wide range of tones all the way from clean through dirty. And then I just bounced the mix out through the seven different impulse responses so you can get a real a fair comparison of what they all sound like played with the exact same guitar part. Okay, let's get on with it.
Thanks for watching my video on seven different Greenback 412 multi-mic setup impulse responses. Once you go down that impulse response rabbit hole, it can get really confusing really quickly, and I know that from experience. So hopefully if you're looking for a Greenback 412 style IR, at least maybe this video was able to help you narrow down your choices a bit. And keep in mind, these companies offer so many different variations of each impulse response. For example, Ownhammer offers 10 different variations of each mix that they make. So if, for example, if you like the modern mix uh, that I showed you here in this video, but you thought that it was maybe just a little bit too dark or a little bit too bright, there's gonna be one that they make that's probably gonna give you what you want. You can find links down in the video description below to Celestion, ML, and Ownhammer. Thanks for checking out this video, and hey, please hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell beside the subscribe if you dug the video and you wanna get an alert every time I put out a new one. All right, I'm Pete Thorne, over and out.